Yo, what to do, everybody? I hope y'all been having a blessed one, a blessed week, a blessed day. Whatever's going on for y'all, man. I just hope it's been good and it's been blessed. Uh, my fault for not uploading this whole week, or for like the yeah, this whole week basically. Uh, I've just been busy with my life shit. You hear me? Like, I'm gonna do this YouTube thing. But I do just gotta like deal with life at the same time, you feel me? Like I'm going through this shit too. But we here, man, and today's video is gonna be on why you need to be in the gym, bro. Cause see, when I was little, bro, I had dreams of like going to the league, whether it was like NBA or NFL. I just wanted a ball, bro, like real shit. Like growing up, I just like playing sports, bro. That was my thing. But, you know, shit doesn't work out sometimes in life. And, like, that's cool. You feel me? I'm not mad about it. But with being in sports, I got into the gym since a young age. Now, when I was little, like, I'm talking, like, 6 to 13, maybe, I'd be at the crib, uh, you know, just busting out, busting out push-ups, sit-ups, all of that. And then once I got into, like, my teens, like, 14, 15, then I started getting into like an actual real like commercial gym. And then, I don't know, being in school, for me it was like, oh yeah, everybody's being active because bro, when you're in school, you literally have a PE class that, you know, keeps you active for at least one, one day a week, you feel me? But then I graduated and I, I looked around like, oh, like just around me, you feel me? I looked at the world, bro. And I realized that, bro, people do not be in the gym. And then I'm like, for what, bro? Like, it, it's low key kind of crazy that the moment like people be graduating from high school, physical activity is just out the fucking window, bro. And then I'm like, what? Like that shit is insane to me. Cause like, Real shit, bro. This body that we have, we need to take care of it, bro. Because, AG, if, if you not eating right all the time, if you always putting in garbage into your body, then, bro, it's like you're a living thing, bro. Like, the shit you do on a day-to-day -day basis affects your body, affects your health. And I know y'all have heard the saying, health is wealth. And that's, that's true, bro, because think about it. So we the amount of time that we have to chase our dreams on this planet is starts from the moment we're born to the moment we die, correct? So now, if you're eating healthy, if you're, if you're eating healthy, if you're in the gym, then you are expanding your lifetime, bro. You're literally adding years onto your time on that. You're adding time onto your life here on this earth you feel me my bad for all my word mix-ups i don't know i just i think too fast bro but yeah g being in the gym it'll give you one it's gonna make sure you healthy you feel me so you have more time to do the shit that you want to do more time to be able to experience the beauty of life second being consistent in the gym keyword consistent will end up making you be able to look at yourself in the mirror and be proud of what you've made bro because it's like think think of your body like a rock and then you have a hammer and you have a nail and then every time you go to the gym you eat healthy you're not putting junk in your body you're sculpting a beautiful beautiful statue but now if you always put in junk into your body if you're never going to the gym if you're never doing physical activity and you're always just on some bull bullshit lazy shit bro then yeah you you, st you still got the hammer and in, in the nail bro but you're just you're not even sculpting shit. You're just fucking hitting it, bro. So it's like going to the gym. I feel like it's definitely 
one of the first steps into self-improvement. Why? Because it's the easiest thing, bro. Y'all niggas act like going to the gym is hard, my nigga. Like, no. You don't need to be going to fucking the bougie-ass gym. Like, player, I guarantee you, if you search up, if you go on your maps, on that's on your phone, search up gym near me, there's going to be at least a 24-hour fitness or a planet fitness, bro. And that's good enough. That's good enough. You don't need to be going to the bougiest gym, bro. As long as you go to a place that has some weights that you can lift, that is good enough. And the best thing about it, bro, a 24-hour fitness uh, membership, Planet Fitness, whatever the fuck. These gyms, their memberships are most definitely below $20 to $25 a month. And if you can't afford that, then player, we got a bigger problem on our hands, bro. Because you should be able to afford a fucking a $20, $25 uh, tab every single month. Like, bro, you got 30 days or about 30 days every single month to just stack up 20, 25 beans on the side to pay for a membership, bro. Like, that shit is not hard, bro. So if you can't afford that, then we got a bigger problem on our hands. But I'm assuming that everybody watching this video can pay that no you feel me because i don't want i'm not i don't want to call nobody broke so all you need is a little planet fitness a little 24 hour fitness come up with look at yourself in the mirror bro real shit look at yourself in the mirror and be like damn i'm skinny damn i'm fat and imagine yourself in six months like yeah this is how i want to look i want to have a big chest broad shoulders big biceps nice triceps and then you got to plan out a diet you got to do research bro find out what foods will help you get to that goal that you want so after you make a list of all the foods that are low in carbs high in carbs depending on your goals like once you find the foods that uh fit into your goal make a list and boom there's your diet this that list is everything that you can eat after that you find work you actually go to the fucking gym bro like you gotta get yourself up get in your car turn your car on and drive to the gym and go in there and lift some fucking weights that's the easy part bro and i know that for people who are new to the gym it might be a little bit nerve-wracking for you to go because you're in a public place and, you know, I guess people are scared of other people looking at them working out. And, like, I understand where you're coming from, bro. But realistically, niggas at the gym do not give a fuck, bro. Like, everybody that's in the gym is there for the exact same reason. To look better, to be healthier, to just have a healthy lifestyle, bro. So it's like, when you're going to... A room filled with people who all have the same goal in mind then what's so embarrassing about that what's so nerve-wracking about that you got to get out of your head and actually go to the gym take some headphones with you blast your music you really got to be in your own world excuse me and then once you actually go to the gym bro you have to stay consistent you have to keep going, bro. You can't just go one week and call it quits, player. That's not how that shit work, bro. You need to dedicate yourself to the gym over an extended period of time. And here's the thing, too, bro. People say uh, going to the gym is like doing too much and all that, bro. But it really, it's really not, bro. And for me, like the gym helps me out mentally, G. Cause like if I'm if some bullshit's going on in life, if I'm stressed and if I'm angry, if I'm sad, then bro, I go to the gym and let that shit out there, bro. Like you could say I use the gym as a coping method, and that's the thing. Like the world runs on coping methods, bro. Like when people get sad, when people get mad, everybody does something different. Somebody might go smoke, somebody might go drink, somebody might go hit the gym, somebody might go on a drive. And the ways that you cope with the discomfort that you feel in life, that's what's going to either separate you or put you behind. 
You feel what I'm saying? So if you use the gym as a coping method, then bro, how are you not gonna look good, bro? If every time some bullshit happens, or if every, cause bro, we, I know we deal with bullshit on the daily, bro. So when some shit happens in your day or earlier in your day, later in your day, that makes you mad, that makes you sad, that gives you any negative feeling, and you go to the gym and you lift some weights, trying to get rid of that feeling, exerting that anger, exerting that sadness through the workout, then player, you're, you're gonna be a beast, bro. Cause that's the thing, G. The emotions that we feel as humans, those are powerful, bro. Cause anger is powerful enough to make somebody wanna go out there and shoot somebody. Anger is also powerful enough that somebody goes to the gym long enough and lifts weights hard enough to the point where they get dead. Emotions are powerful, G. So you need to understand that if you manipulate, if you exert, if you funnel these emotions into the right places in your life, then you will start seeing a difference. You feel me? So next time you get angry, next time you get sad, instead of doing whatever it is that you do, go to the gym, G, straight up. I guarantee you, you'll feel hella good after, bro. The next time you get angry, go to the gym. The next time you feel sad, go to the gym. The next time you feel irritated, go to the gym, bro. And I guarantee you, you're gonna feel 10 times better. Why? Because, bro, not only are you getting rid of that negative emotion, but you're also putting it into something that's positive. So it's like after one, you're gonna feel good because you let all of that bullshit out. And then two, you're gonna feel even more amazing because you know that you did something for yourself, bro. You did something positive for yourself. Cause like, let's say you get mad, you get sad, you go out, you have some drinks. You, so what bro, you feel better, but I mean, next morning you waking up with a hangover, G. So is it, was it really worth it? You feel, you, you feel what I'm saying? And it's like, bro, I do not want to hear no type of excuses on, oh, I don't have enough time. Oh, I'm too tired. Oh, this, oh, that. Like, bro, shut up, bro. Shut up and go to the fucking gym. Stop making excuses. Because the same reason why you're making excuses on why you're not going to the gym is the same reason why you probably hate life. Because you keep making excuses to validate you being lazy. It's that simple, bro. Like, sit here, get mad at me, say whatever the fuck you want to say, bro. But the truth is the truth, player. Like... If it says it on the paper, G, if it's written in pen on the paper, then it's written on pen in the paper, G. You, you can't do nothing about it. I'm sorry, bro. Like, plain and simple, G. The more you keep making excuses, the longer you're going to start living, or the longer you're going to keep living in the bullshit life that you're living in, bro. That's real shit. So you, you need to stop. If you're tired, then fuck it. I don't care. Go to the gym. If you don't got time, then make time. Like I said, bro, there's no way niggas have eight hours of free time of like eight hours of you. And you can't take at least one hour to go to the gym, bro. And I'm gonna leave y'all off with this one, G. Imagine, imagine what six months of pure dedication could do to you. Because like, look, bro, like, I mean, I see I'm pretty in shape, you feel me? I don't think I'm the best in shape. I don't think I'm the biggest nigga there. But it's like, bro, I think I look good. Like, <laughs> real shit, like, I think I genuinely look good. And all of this is a byproduct of the work that I put in all these previous years, bro. And then now the gym has become part of my lifestyle, bro. Like, I cannot go throughout my day without hitting the gym. And if I don't go in the morning, then I'm going to make sure, for sure, for sure, that I go at night. But usually I'll go in the morning, bro, because it's a nice way to start off the day. It's in, like, it sets the tone for my day when I go in the morning. If I go at night, it's because my morning was just too busy and I couldn't get to it in the morning. But I make sure that I'm in there almost every day, G. Like, so far this month, 
the month of July or June, my fault. I've only missed five days. And the month is almost over, bro. There's about three more days left in the month. So I don't plan on missing any more days. So that means out of 31 days, I only missed five. So think about that, bro. Think about that. Think about three straight months, six straight months of you going to the gym, not missing a workout, not skipping leg day, not skipping ab day, doing what the fuck you need to do for six months for an extended period of time. Imagine what could happen. Imagine the difference that you could see. Cause that's the thing, bro. Like y'all niggas be underestimating what even six months of dedication could do. Cause real shit, I started noticing like an actual difference in my body after three months of pure dedication. And that was my junior year in high school. My junior year in high school, uh, you could say I, I got my like first real heartbreak, G. And like that shit motivated me. Like I said, I had this negative emotion. I had this negative feeling. And then I funneled it into the gym. I funneled it into the grind. And then after those three months of pure dedication, pure isolation, pure just focus, I was walking out. But damn, you're this big. Like those three months in junior in, in junior year, that gave me like the baseline of my body. You feel me? So three months is all it took for me to like finally see some a difference, bro. So for the niggas out there that are like, oh, I want this shit right now, then my nigga focus for three months, no bullshit. See how you look, bro. And then after those three months. Decide if you want to go on for another three. And imagine how you're going to look after that. You feel me? And that's what I'm going to leave y'all off with, man. Just like I said in my last video, man. Be delusional, bro. Be delusional. Sit and imagine how you would look like with a six-pack. Sit and imagine how you would look with some big-ass arms. Sit there and imagine it, how you would look like with a big-ass chest. And then go out and get that shit, bro. Y'all are like, yeah, whoever watching this, you got it, my nigga. You got it, bro. There ain't, there's not shit you can't do, bro. Like, real shit, bro. Go out there. Get the gym membership. Start working out, bro. And I guarantee you in three months, six months, you're going to look like a whole new person, bro. Believe in yourself. And if nobody, if you feel like nobody in the world believes in you, then I believe in you, my nigga. And I believe in you because I was there too, bro. I used to be the skinny nigga, bro. I used to be the nigga that... Like, you can fucking do this shit, too, you feel me? Oh, the pinky wraps around your wrist, bro. I used to be that nigga, bro. That used to be me. And I got tired of that shit, so I went to the gym, and I lifted some fucking weights, and now I'm here, bro. I'm literally just trying to spit game and spit inspiration to y'all, G. So if I could do it, then y'all niggas could do it, man. And with that being said, man, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. As always, stay true to you, stay true to the bag, and I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace.